Hey guys, TechTipper101 here, and today I have a tutorial on how to use Red Snow. Now, Red Snow is basically a jailbreak tool which allows you to do a little bit more uh, than just plain jailbreak your iOS device. It has a lot of advanced features in it as well, and I'll try to go through most of them. Uh, this video may run a bit long, but I'll try to keep it as short as possible. So pretty much, once you download Red Snow and you open the app, this is the main screen you get. You get two options, either the jailbreak or you have extras. So jailbreak is pretty simple. Um, all you have to do is plug in your iOS device, um, whichever one it is, and you have to put it in DFU mode. And once you press DFU mode, it will also give you a tutorial, by the way. Um, it'll go to the next screen where you can check jailbreak, uh, install Cydia, uh, deactivate, or um, just boot. And that's pretty much the jailbreak aspect of it. It's been very simple and streamlined. It used to be more complicated before. But uh, the meat and potatoes of Red Snow is pretty much the extra features it has. So once you click on extra, uh, you have the first option, which is just boot. Now what just boot allows you to do is for certain jailbreaks, when they come out, they are considered tethered. And tether tethered, sorry, I'm getting a little tongue twisted, uh, means basically uh, if your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, or whatever, you know, your jailbreaking uh, turns off or the battery runs out or something like that, you won't be able to turn it on until you connect that iOS device to the computer, click just boot here, put it into DFU mode, and then it'll boot because the jailbreak is made so that, you know, if your iOS device turns off, it won't be able to turn on without a computer. That's why it's always better to wait for an untethered jailbreak just in case because you never know, you know, when your iOS device is going to turn off and if you don't have a computer next to you, uh, you're basically holding on to a brick and paperweight. So, Pwn DFU mode is pretty much allows you to enter uh, DFU mode, but it's a specific state where uh, you can install custom firmware. So if you make a custom firmware, custom IPSW, which they're also known as through here or Snowbreeze, you have to put your device in Pwn DFU mode first before iTunes allows you to restore your uh, iOS device to that custom firmware. Once again, a lot of this stuff may be a little advanced for some of my viewers out there, but if you do a little bit of reading, um, it's really easy. Then you have recovery fix. Uh, a lot of times when iTunes restores your iOS device, you get the recovery uh, icon and logo on your iOS device, which is pretty much you know the iTunes logo with a USB on the bottom. And sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you're constantly going to get back to that screen. So if you're having that issue, just connect your iOS device uh, to your computer, open up Red Snow, click recovery fix, put it in DFU mode, and it should fix it for you. SSSH blob, SH, SH blob, sorry, is pretty much uh, a feature where Apple signs firmwares with a ticket. So if you can keep that ticket, you can always restore back to any firmware you had the ticket for. So for most people, they don't dabble in this stuff, but for people who want to jailbreak like really far back or go back to a downgrade their firmware pretty much, you need an SHSH blob or ticket uh, to verify uh, through iTunes that you want to downgrade. So the classic example is you're on 5.1.1 and for some reason you want to go to version 5.0 again because maybe you like that firmware. Pretty much what happens is uh, iTunes won't allow you to do that until you know you have a ticket saved. For most people they never downgrade so they don't need the ticket. So this is another advanced feature. Then you have a uh, select IPSW which pretty much allows you to uh, select a specific uh, firmware that you want Red Snow to work with. So sometimes if Red Snow may ask firmware not found, please specify your firmware. So just make sure you have a firmware handy specific to whatever you're jailbreaking. Uh, custom IPSW is also the same. Pretty much all you have to do is if you want to make a custom firmware, download that from uh, FlexiBurns, which I did a video on. Um, and all you have to do is select that here and Red Snow will make a specific uh, firmware for you. Uh, that will preserve the baseband so for people that use ultra snow to unlock it won't um, kill your unlock and add certain features to the jailbreak it's like ponish tool baked into red snow and then you have even more which is user preferences um, most people should not touch these things because they will actually uh, mess up your jailbreak then you have identify if you have a device that's in DFU mode and you can't get it out, you can plug it in here and it'll tell you what device it is, but I think it'd be pretty obvious if you can see what type of iOS device you have. Uh, clear cache, uh, sometimes if Red Snow is acting up, you can always clear the cache. Uh, backup, uh, a path using AFC2, uh, another advanced feature for 
people that like to SSH via uh, USB tickets. Um, there was a, there was a, a jailbreak feature that came out where you can unlock without uh, Ultra Snow by using SAM, but you need a ticket system. So once again, you can read more about that by Googling it, but this allows you to install tickets back onto your um, you know iOS device. DFU IPSW pretty much is for people who have uh, a broken home button on their iOS device and they can't get into DFU mode or broken sleep button uh, because you need to hold them in a combination in order to um, get into DFU mode. So if you can't, all you have to do is restore to a firmware created through this option. And um, when you restore through iTunes, your iOS device will be in DFU mode and then you have to restore again and whatnot. And finally, we have the restore option, which allows you to basically do the same feature in iTunes, which is to restore. So pretty much that's Red Snow in a quote unquote nutshell. Uh, I know I was ranting and going on a bit, but that's most of the features of Red Snow. It's not a pretty difficult software to use, application to use. It's pretty simple and straightforward if you know what you're doing. So once again, just go through this video, listen to it a couple of more times, see if you understand. If not, you can always, you know, Google it. The internet is full of, you know, people out there trying to help you understand how to you know work with your device but thank you guys for watching if you have any extra questions please leave it in the comments and don't forget to like subscribe and share these videos as well and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye